The state government has again justified the price of the Premier's new office, saying it'll have the $25 million project paid for within 10 years. A group of Hale Old Boys today inspected the Heritage listed building, which was a boarding school until the 1960s. What once home to these former Hale School students will soon become home to the Premier. Sid Breeden boarded here in the 1950s and says he couldn't be happier with its incarnation. It was uh, a really nostalgic return today and uh, I'm absolutely tickle pink that it has been heritage listed and I'm even more pleased that it is being refurbished. While Hale House is currently a construction site, this is what it'll look like once the multi-million dollar refurbishment is complete. The old headmaster's quarters will become the Premier's office, the boys' dorms will be converted into office space, and an extension out the back will house the cabinet. This is an important government building, it is heritage listed, and it needs money spent on it to preserve and protect it. Plus, we're going to make it a jewel in the crown. It'll be a very significant public building uh, in future. Political analyst Harry Phillips is also a former Hale student and says he always thought the site had great potential. So I was very closely associated with the uh, development of the Constitutional Centre and uh, I've always felt there's been a, a, an opportunity to develop this wonderful precinct near the parliament. The project is expected to cost about $25 million and Simon O'Brien says it will be paid off within 10 years. While the government says it's cheaper than renting costly office space in the CBD, the opposition is unconvinced. Their argument is that it will save the taxpayers money and that's quite simply not the case. The Premier, it might be okay for the Premier to host the Queen, but he doesn't have to live like royalty while everyone else in Western Australia is doing it tough. The Premier is expected to move into the new office in October next year. Jane Norman.